There was one very important thing for me, and which was feeling safe and being respected for who I am, respected for my culture. What I like best about Melbourne is probably its diversity. I mean, starting basically at the food, you have pretty much all food across the world. Melbourne is really cultural diverse and there is a lot of great food to offer. I just love the food here. You get everything you like. I've been to quite a few tourist attractions. To Flinders Street, the Botanical Garden in Melbourne. Oh, they're great. When I take time out of my studies, I love to explore the countryside and head out to the Dandenong Ranges. If I were to recommend, everyone should go to the Great Ocean Road. Oh, it is a beautiful place. It's like a piece of heaven on earth. I went to White Night and uh, it's like a nighttime festival in the city. And uh, I really think that it's an amazing experience. It's more than a land down under. It's more than a land of kangaroos or wallabies or boomerang. Because I live on campus, I walk to uni. I get around Melbourne by public transport. You get to the bus, you get to the train, you get to the tram and it's so easy. I made friends when I was living on campus from all across the faculties and all across year levels. I made new friends through like engaging myself in social activities and also the orientation day. I've made friends from all over the world. Just talk to them on, at university and you'll make great friends. My favourite things to do with my friends are to go for a jog in the evening, play badminton during the weekends and go to the city, it could be on a Sunday afternoon. My top study tip would be doing your work as you go because when it all piles up and you have deadlines the next day, it's going to be very difficult to finish all of them on time. Number one, studying in the library. Um, for postgraduate students, one of the lucky things we have is a separate postgraduate lounge where you can study all night long. Be organised and set a goal for yourself. The best thing is that when you study late into the night, they offer you a security bus that can drop you off at your home. Organize what you have to do today, and then the rest of the time you can go play and do whatever you want. So it's like a, a bit of fun and a bit of work. Before my grocery shopping that I do weekly, I first check my bank statements and then I set out a limit for myself that, okay, probably today I'm going to do a grocery shopping for the next one or two weeks in around $70 to $80. Keep a record, like if you feel like that week you have spent too much, uh, maybe when, when you check your wallet that it's like only $10 left, then you can go back and see what have you spent most on. Living in a new country has helped me become more independent. One day in the future, I aim to positively impact others and give back to the community that I have received so much from.